Good morning students. Today we will go with the unit 4 that is my elder brother. See in this chapter is a conversation type. So I will just go with my audio voice recording. Here in page number 65 it is about scene 1. I will be reading it and then I will be explaining to you. Scene 1. A hostel room. Two brothers aged 9 and 14 years sitting at a study table. The elder brother Bhaiya is reading a book and the younger one Munna is drawing pictures of birds and animals. So here it's all about a hostel room. The scene one is about the hostel room. Two brothers of age 9 and 14 are there. The elder one is known as Bhaiya here is reading the book and the younger one known as Munna is drawing pictures of birds and animals. Now here in page number 65, it's a talk, a conversation between two brothers. The first one, I will be reading it out all together and then I will be explaining to you. Bhaiya, what are you doing Munna? Munna, I am drawing. When will you study? Where were you in the morning? Munna, turning pale. I was playing. Bhaiya, how can you sit with the books for hours together? That because I want my foundation in education to be very strong. If the base is strong, then the building will stand firmly. Sometimes it takes me two years to do one year's work. Bhaiya, you are five years older than I am and three classes ahead of me. I wonder why you keep writing the same words 20 times one sentence more than 20 times and copy poems several times in beautiful letters. Bhaiya, you know, studying English is no child's play. One has to work very hard in order to learn the subject, to speak or write English properly. Tremendous effort is required. But the moment you get a chance, you run to the fields, play marbles, and fly paper kites or sit idly away with friends for fun. Can't you sit down and study? So you're in this page number 65 of your English textbook. I hope everyone has already taken out. See in this page is about the conversation is a talk between two brothers. The elder one is known as Bhaiya and the younger one is known as Munna. Now the year Bhaiya is asking Munna that what are you doing over there? And Munna is replying what? Yeah, that Munna is saying that he is drawing. See, hearing these words, Bhaiya again start. When you will study? Where were you in the morning? So, repeatedly questions are being asked by Bhaiya that when you will be studying or when you or where were you in the morning? And what did the Munna say? I was playing Bhaiya. You can, and he's just asking Bhaiya, how can you sit with the books for hours together? And what was the response of his? elder brother that to make a foundation in education to be very strong we have to make continuously we have to work very hard just uh, along with that Bhaiya is also given an example see when we just uh, when you go for any construction work you have seen over there there is a foundation is if the foundation is very strong put then only the bricks or the stone or cemented that is placed over there will be firmly standing and the house or building can be made so it can be constructed in the same way the Bhaiya is telling you the foundation of education is not very strong then you can't be successful in your life and again what is Munna, Munna is saying here that Bhaiya you are five years older than I am and three class ahead of me and he's asking that how can you write the same thing again and again 20 times and even the poems many times with the beautiful letters by the beautiful handwriting it's really, see the year Munna is having a lot of question that how this Bhaiya is sitting for hours together and is learning things again and again. That same thing that Munna can't do. Then what is the response? Bhaiya is telling that English is no child's play. Learning English. See, to, if you have to get practice or if you have to be very influenced with any language, you have to go read it again and again. You have to understand the same way in your maths. Uh, for example, I'm just telling about the max. If the max subject is not easy for you, 
do you think that uh, attempting for the first time your sums will be right no you have to go again and again you have to do the many of the practice work and then only uh, the perfection can be found out so here the baya is telling that english is not a very easy language or it's not a child's play you have to work very hard you have to speak and write english properly and it requires a tremendous effort it is a very hard work you have to do but the moment uh, i am also saying that baya is also saying at that but the moment you get a chance what the munna do he just run into the fields and just go outside play marbles uh, just um, have the kites flying kites and or sit idle with his uh, friends in the ground and have a lot of fun so i hope you have understood with this page i will go with the next page uh, now student just turn your page to page number 66 and i will be reading it and then i will be again explaining here the first is munna is saying oh bhaiya this is there is a big mela in the village today should we go bhaiya have you ever seen me going to a fair or going to watch a cricket or hockey match i don't go near them i prefer to study a book i don't mind repeating a class for more than 2 years but you might stay in the same class all your life do you expect to pass if you waste your time playing all the time you are simply wasting father's hard earned money munna started crying on being scolded and sobbing the sound munna bhaiya i feel like running away and going back home bhaiya now now stop crying put on a sm nice smile look i will make a timetable for you to follow get up at the dawn now you're in this page number 66 is all about the conversation again see the munna is just telling that there is a big fair a mela is there in the village and he want him self and his brother to go and just enjoy the fair but bhaiya is telling no he does not want to go and he is just telling uh, he ha have you ever seen have you ever munna seen uh, the elder brother uh, playing or watching cricket or hockey matches so he just telling bhaiya is telling that he just preferred to be avoiding all these things and only uh, learning uh, only studying the books and he just telling that i don't mind repeating the class for more than 2 years that means no matter bhaiya was work, uh, studying and working very hard but still he could not pass the academic year every year that means he used to repeat the same class twice so here he is just telling uh, he prefer to repeat the same class twice uh, rather than his brother who is wasting his time and father's hard earned money see the word is father's hard earned money why because these both are living in the hostel far away from the family so bhaiya is telling that not only are wasting your own time but you are wasting the father's money that the father's money he is spending on them you are wasting them and hearing this what happened munna started crying and next one was the conversation is bhaiya is telling that okay now stop crying and have a put a smile on your face that means he is comforting his younger brother and is telling that okay you know don't worry and uh, he will make a timetable for him and you have to follow the timetable get up at the dawn means to get up in the early in the morning see the word dawn d a w n dawn means early in the morning and before that when munna started crying what munna told bhaiya i feel like running away and going back home so here after hearing all this thing what uh, elder brother is telling that okay now stop crying put a smile on your face and i will help you out to film a time table according to it and you will be studying it the thing is that you have to get up early in the morning and you have to follow the time table there see here when you just go to page number 66 a time table and time and schedule is there see 6 am wash your hands have your breakfast and sit down to study 6 to 8 is english 8 to 9 is math 9 to 9:30 is history 3:30 is then off to school then 5 to 6 is grammar then half an hour for story means whatever the work he has to do with that related things then 6:30 to 7 is english composition then then dinner 8 to 9 is a translation the translation might be of the different languages the second language is subjects and 9 to 10 again hindi and 10 to 11 other subjects and then go to bed this was a timetable that was set by elder brother for munna 
Now I will be just going to page number 67. Students, I hope you are understanding what I am saying here. The, now when we come to page number 67, the Munna's conversation is starting on the, on the top of the pages. But when is the time to play, Bhaiya? Play? What is the need, Munna? Oh, I love the green fields, the gentle breeze. I want to jump up like a football. I like the touch and go on, go and hututu sound of the kabaddi and hurry flurry of the volleyball pulls me like a magnet. As soon as I am on the field, I forget everything. Now, when the timetable was set up, when Munna saw the timetable, he understood that he just came to know that there was no time for playing. So when he asked his elder brother about why, where is the time for play? So what was the response of his elder brother? There is no need of playing, uh, no need of playing, and you should be concentrating in your studies. But Munna is telling that he loves to go on the open fields. He likes to play kabaddi. He go. He wants to go out and play football or the volleyball. The you want to go and enjoy the whole thing that was there in his life. Now, when we come to this page number 67, there is a now that comes to an end of scene one. Now comes a scene two. The final exams were over and the results are out. Bhaiya, alas, I have failed once again. Munna, oh, but, oh, but Bhaiya, I have passed and topped my class. Now, there is only two years difference between us, Bhaiya. But my dear brother, don't be so proud. I have passed only one class and, sorry, you have, you have passed only one class and you think that I am stupid, you are smart. Once in a while, in a gully danda game, you might get lucky and hit a goal. But that does not mean. So here in this page, now the scene two is what that the first examinations is over, the results are out and what happened here? Again, Bhaiya failed. And what is the new thing that happened over here? This was that Munna had not only passed but scored a being a topped in the class, meaning that he has been scored first or second position in his own class. Here now Munna was very proud and he was telling what? Now there is only two years difference between us. That means no, not of the age, but of, uh, but of the academic session that, that the, he was just two years different or two was just younger to the academic session of his brother. Now, you're hearing this response, but he is telling that don't be so proud that you have topped or you have just passed the exam. It might be just like a luck by chance you have just got the hit and see one game is mentioned over here that Gulli Danda, that means especially the boys might be knowing very well that see you have if or just when you go to a fair and all you can see a balloons now or the uh, you have to shoot the balloons. If by chance you should it out the friends or your cousins or your brother or sister what they will tell luck by chance me lag gaya hai. So here also your elder brother is there don't be so proud that you have passed or you top the class. It might be just like a luck by chance you have just topped the class. Now, I will be just moving with the next page. 